So are you having a hard time closing your garage door? Well, nine out of 10 times, it's probably the safety eyes. Let me walk you through some steps that you can do at home to get that door closed. Now, one of the biggest reasons a door won't close is because the safety eye is blocked by something in the garage. People tend to pile things up in the corner. Well, sometimes you just gotta move them out of the way and get that door closed. So when you have objects in front of the safety eye, you're blocking the signal and the eyes can't read each other and the motor will not close the door. It will end up reversing. When it comes to safety eyes, there's two of them, of course. One's a sender and one is a receiver. Now your sender should always be on whether it's misaligned or blocked, should always be lit. Your receiver is the one that'll go out if it can't read the signal or if it's misaligned. In this case, the safety eye is misaligned, so the light is out. What I need to do is adjust that eye till that light comes back on and tighten down my wing nut. You wanna make sure it doesn't come loose again. Now, if you can't get this light to go on or perhaps your sender light is not on, well, you probably have a different issue. You may have bad safety eyes or bad wiring to your motor. Now, another common issue with safety eyes is they could be simply knocked off the track. In most cases, they're just clipped on. And unfortunately, well, be knocked off pretty easily see what i mean now if your bracket's been knocked off the track it's very simple to reinstall you just simply now if you've accidentally knocked it off the track it's very simple to clip it back on just simply clip it back on like that and what we recommend is a bolt through the track in the bracket so you can't knock it off again now another problem with safety eyes you can easily rectify at home as well dirt and debris a lot of times spiders make webs and then the wind blows around the dirt and debris and the leaves and they stick to the spider web. So you just easily, right, just clear off the debris. You should be good to go. Now after you've cleaned off the debris, ensure that the wing nut on the safety eye is tight. A loose safety eye can also create problems when the door is moving, the vibration will shake it around and misalign it. It'll drive you nuts. So just make sure it's good and tight. Now another potential reason your door won't close is well because your safety eye wire may have got tangled up in a tool or something you leave laying around a garage. It grabs the wire and breaks it, door won't close. Now another common problem with safety eyes is they may have been replaced at some point and they splice it into the old wire and now that splice has become loose, losing the connection. What you need to do is pull that electric tape off, make sure the connection is tight again, Put your tape back on, you should be good to go. Now don't worry about the wiring, it's low voltage. There's no risk of shock or injury. Now another potential reason your safety eyes don't work is, well maybe it's just no good anymore, depending on its age. It may have been damaged by getting run into, or maybe simply got wet with a power wash in a house or something. Once it's wet, it's simply not gonna work anymore. Now you may find this hard to believe, but believe it or not, the sun can create a problem with your safety eyes also. A low setting sun, will glare the receiver and your door won't close. Now you're, now you're saying, what do I do about that? Well, you simply reverse the eyes and this way the sender is the one that's in the sun. Now, another reason safety eye may be having an issue is the wiring at the back of the motor is loose. The vibration of it shaking around sometimes can break a splice wire or simply wiggle it loose from the terminal. Now, of course, the possibility of your door being damaged or broken is a reason it wouldn't close, but realistically, how did you get it open if the door is broken? I'm not saying it can't happen, but most of the time when a door is broken, you can't open it. So when you're having a safety eye issue, when you attempt to close the door, the light will flash, and that'll tell you you're having a safety eye issue. Now, if you can't seem to figure out what's wrong and you wanna get the door closed, you can simply press and hold your wall button until the door hits the floor. That's a way to overcome your safety eyes so you can secure the garage for the night. I hope this video has helped you out getting your door closed, maybe solve that safety eye issue for you. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Joe with Precision Door, a name you can trust.